Welcome back. I know you're scrolling through YouTube right now looking for another love relationship video. This is Priestess and Medium Rosalind, and I want you to know you're not alone. I know that a broken heart is one of the hardest things to get over. Sometimes it's our own fault, trusting too much. Sometimes we just get involved thinking it's going to be fun. And then we end up feeling so moved and so attached to this person in our life. Whatever you decide, whether you want to stay and watch another love relationship reading, or if you want to skip past this, I just want you to understand my gifts are sincere and genuine. I've had them since I was a little girl. And yes, I use my gift skills, tarot and channeling, and my ability to work with root work and conjure to help others. It's part of my life purpose. So you can sit back and enjoy another love and relationship reading. But this time, just know how genuine it is and it's from the heart. Take care. And if you ever want one-to-one, -one, my information is below. Welcome in, Scorpio. Welcome in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you're doing good. This is going to be how do they really feel about you, Scorpio. Okay. Welcome back to the Soul Family. Please check out the new videos. If you'd like to get in touch with me, my information is below, Scorpio. Okay. Let's get into this. Lots of shocking, surprising kind of stuff going on right now. It's also right after Equinox for spring. And there's a lot of beginnings and endings happening right now, Scorpio. How does this person really feel about Scorpio? 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 Temperance. Sagittarius energy, also a lot of balanced energy. Let's see what else is here. The Fool. Oh, this could be a, a fire sign because I'm already seeing Sagittarius and Leo here. And Aries, I mean, Three of Swords. The Chariot. Cancer energy. Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, Scorpio, this person feels like you betrayed them. They feel like you stabbed them in the heart and betrayed them. This Three of Swords is right here front and center. This person feels like you may have betrayed them. And they may have a plan somehow to... Uh, they may have a plan to just walk away. They may be thinking of this over and over in their mind. They may be seeking for you and to hear from you that things are okay and that you're going to be balanced again. They may want a new beginning so bad that they may walk away because they feel like you betrayed them. Um, they've been thinking about this a lot. They're obsessing about it. Let's see what's on the bottom. Magician. Um, this is your energy also, Scorpio. Um, this person may literally try and manifest a brand new beginning. So if the two of you have like home, family, or you live together, things are, you know, signed, you're signed on the same loan or something, this could get dramatic. Yeah, this person is starting to think about themselves. They want clarity. And yeah, here it is. Yeah, they're going to make a decision and some of them are going to walk away, Scorpio. They want this brand new beginning. And even though they may have seen this with you at one time, this Three of Swords being here front and center and the Eight of Swords, this is a big deal. For some of you, it's a marriage. Um, I feel like some of you may be going to court or maybe getting documents signed or documents corrected. This person wants balance and healing. Now, if they do decide to reconcile, like if the two of you decide to reconcile, it's going to have to be a totally brand new beginning. They're going to have to be very comfortable and feel very safe, Scorpio. Okay, but this person is definitely ready to manifest these new beginnings. Okay, all right. That is how this person feels about you, Scorpio. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care.